Hello everyone. So I hope you are aware of the Terraform Cap Rover framework. If not, then this is the right video for you all. So let's quickly start what we are going to cover here. So first, if you are new to the Terraform, I must is the infrastructure as a code. You can write a code, create infrastructure, and you can use the various service provider like AWS. Google Cloud, Ansible, sorry, not Ansible, sorry, it's so, uh, AWS, Google Cloud, and Google GCP, Alibaba. So you, can, there are a lot of uh, cloud provider. You can deploy the resources over there using the infrastructure as a code. So, so let's quickly jump into the CAF. So why we need a CAF? So basically, CAF is has many advantages. So let me quickly uh, explain you, show you the main GitHub page of the CAF and let click to the rover and see because it can install in the multiple uh, like Linux, Mac, you can install it everywhere. You It support a Visual Studio extension. You can install in the uh, code space and there are a lot of tool setters are available and you uh, you can use a pipeline right or uh, it, in the terraform wrapper it help you to read the state from the state file from azure storage account so we are not going to cover everything we just now today going to set up the rover so let's quickly jump into that so first this is my repo you can go it for that we require these four files hence once it is done we are good to go so let me quickly show you so I am aware I am I think uh, before going ahead you must install the docker or the basic uh, understanding of Visual Studio code so let me bring my terminal here and Let me bring my terminal here. Okay, so why is not here? Okay, so let me click and down VS so code dot so you'll see the Visual Studio code is now open right and it's saying run in container so what you will do you click here and run it into the container right so meanwhile it is running you able to see the progress here once it is done it will again launch the extension into the new window so basically, I think uh, let me quickly see. Yes, it's currently running, and now I need to go use my default, and I am using. So you will see here. So if you use the T, it's the Terraform. So all the command is here because T is alias as a Terraform, and you use the yq you use the gh command you use the uh, so yaml jq so these are, are the command is already installed uh, you can use the terraform in it as well it will going to initialize it if you're going to t dot plan you will see there is nothing because I have created nothing so that's why it's saying there is nothing to do it later to terraform so so I'm uh, I think that's it thank you everyone I hope you like it and catch you soon bye